welcome back to my channel hope you are all fine so kindly subscribe to this channel if you have any comment make your comments just down below there our today's recipe is how to make traditional sun-dried meat called alia alia is a luo traditional beef which was being made and prepared for future use so we are just cutting them in stripe and we are cutting it stripe and it, uh, so that we can sun dry it to be used in future so you can either use it at the moment or use it even after one month or so so this is how they used to do it keep watching now i've just finished cutting this beef and this beef it used to be cut in stripe it has to be in stripe because we are going to sun dry it so that it can be hard and it's made when it is completely dry so you have to cut it like this so this is called a layer just going to grill or roast my Alia now, my beef now, you put it in a zigzag way so that it can fully get the heat. Make sure that every part of it has the, the heat. So this one now we are preparing Alia. The next step is now we have to sprinkle in some salt. The reason of sprinkling this salt is just to drain water from the beef, to absorb water which is in the beef. Remember we want it completely dry, dry, dry beef and it will be cooked when it is dry. So we add some salt for it to taste one and secondly the main reason why we are adding salt at this point is to make it completely dry. water so you mix water with uh, with salt and you sprinkle it a bit on the beef the reason why we sprinkle water is to reduce the smoke this to avoid too much smoke on the beef so you can see the smoke is now I've, I've just removed it from the the heat now I'm airing it out now in the sun to keep drying. So I'll just put it there and place back this and I will cover it. Now the reason why we have to cover it just like that because here in the village we have dogs, we have cats and some birds. So because of the smell, guys it's really smelling well, nice. So because of the smell they can take, run away with it. So that's why I've just decided to cover it there to let it dry more, more and more. Here is the result. Now this is how it's looking after the, uh, grilling it, after putting it on the sun to dry further. Now it's now time now to cut it into pieces and to boil them. Keep watching guys. So I've cut it now in pieces. Now I'm going to boil it. I thought boiling till you see the layers. So I'm telling you guys this meat is supposed to be just separating itself once it has already been boiled. That's what we call alia. So let's go to the next step of now boiling it. For alia, I'm now washing it. 
washing it so that I can now start cooking, boiling it for about one hour. Now back to my alia. You can see how it is boiling. It is boiling and we have to let it cook, cook till it becomes soft. Back to my alia, it has now boiled and now it is enough. Now it's a high time now I want to fry it the traditional way. So it has completely boiled and now I have to I want to now fry it in the traditional way. So I'll boil a pan. I'll add in some ghee. Guys, this is a ghee. I'm not going to use any salad to fry it, but I'm just going to use alenya. We call it alenya. Guys, what I'm going to use here to fry this is traditional ghee. That, that is oil which has been gotten from the milk, a milk from cow. So we are not using salad. And you can see how little I've just put it because I'm going to add it again after that meal. So the ghee will boil. Then I add in some spring onions. So I let the spring onion to cook a bit. So I'm just trying the spring onion to cook. Well, guys, the aroma that I'm getting from this spring onion. Oh, I only wish you were here with me. No wonder they they preferred spring onions instead of the red onions, guys. Looking and with the ghee, we are using the oil from the ghee that is direct from the cow, which has been melted and boiled, so they don't use salad. So we let it, the onions cook, cook. Guys, the aroma that I'm getting from these spring onions, I cannot just explain. You can see it started turning golden brown. So this is where now I'm going to cut in my tomatoes. And I'm not going to use a lot of tomatoes, just one tomato. Kai, the aroma. So you mix well and give it time to to cook. Guys, remember I've not put any spice at all on this food and traditionally we don't need spices, just use spring onions and tomatoes. So I'm going to add in a little salt to taste. So now, at this time now, I can add in my alia now, the boiled alia. Like funiki. Now guys, the next thing that I'm going to add into this area is milk. Before I add in any water, I'm going to add in milk. 
Now, the next thing that I'm adding into this is now milk. Yes, you can see my alea now. With so many onions in it for aroma. I'll just add in a little bit. Now, this is the time now I can add water to let it continue boiling. So let that milk get into the meat first as I cover it. Yes guys, this is Luo traditional dried beef called alea. So it has just been boiled properly and now fried and now it milk has been added to it. Kindly comment down there if you have ever tasted this. So guys, my alia, my alia is almost ready. The ghee that I had had some cream, so that's why you can see the the stew or the sauce is just too thick. So I'll just add little water. This is now the Luo traditional beef called Alea. Alea. Alea, you can see my Alea, which has Alenya. Alenya is the cow ghee, natural cow ghee, and some sort of milk. Kindly like, view this video, like it, share, subscribe, and please comment down there in the comment section and tell me how you've seen a uh, cooking or how you like it and how you do it and kindly try it just at home it is easy it's sweet it's adorable so amazing look at this meat now how delicious it looks and as i told you the reason why we are boiling it so much so that it can peel you can see it just peeling by itself without using any energy so this is the so-called luo alea Today's recipe is about our traditional recipe that is uh, dried beef called uh, called alia and uh, the traditional vegetables called dek and brown ugali which has been cooked with milk called ananga. So hope you like this video. Kindly watch it, view it, subscribe it and more so I, I welcome all your comments and if you are not coming from the country Kenya kindly comment and tell us how you do it in your country. Mm -hmm.